Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So, uh, this in this reading, we'll see what are the love messages for you for the next couple of months. Okay, so what what are the things that may happen in the next couple of months, or what are the things that you need to do for the next couple of months? Okay, so I'm gonna pull out six cards and. Uh, Three main cards and three cards as clarifiers. I'll also pull out romance angel cards and see what are the messages, romantic messages for your love life. Okay. So we have Queen of Wands. Okay. We have Queen of Wands. Then we have Six of Cups. Are you able to see? Six of Cups. And we have Four of Wands. Fantastic. Let me pull out the clarifiers now. Leo, let me pull out the clarifiers. Not a done shuffling. I think so. If I keep it like this, it's it's a, it's good, right? Should I keep it like this? This is good. Good for me just a sec let me adjust the camera angle okay i adjusted the camera angle i hope this is better let me pull out the clarifiers now queen of wands is clarified by a hermit then six of cups is clarified by queen of swords and Four of Wands is clarified by King of Pentacles. Okay. So you may be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may be dealing with another fire sign. Sagittarius is what I'm hearing. You may be dealing with Virgo. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the sign. So this is your spread. Okay. Queen of Cups. Then we have... Uh, six of cups sorry queen of wands six of cups and we have four of wands okay uh so next couple of months a lot of passionate and possibility of you experiencing a lot of passionate and intimate moments with someone okay and i also see you are going to fall in love with someone or someone is going to fall in love with you or it will be mutual both of you will fall in love with one another okay so queen of wands clarified by hermit hmm it's like it's like it's like trying for you to listen to your passion okay leo uh maybe you you isolated yourself from the world maybe uh you were like for the past couple of months Probably you were in this energy that I'm tired of this toxic world and the negativity and tired of meeting the wrong people in my life and tired of people entering in my life and taking undue advantage of me and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, so you sort of, uh, you sort of isolated yourself at the same time. You, there were a lot of other things as well on the top of your mind, like your own personal growth your own ambitions your own goals your finance your finances so you were quite busy in your own life busy taking care of yourself at the same time you were busy keeping the negativity and toxicity away from you so as a reason in last couple of months you have experienced a lot of uh it, it was a solitude phase okay it was a solitude phase and you had embraced isolation since last couple of months and not that you did it without choice of course you were quite happy and enjoyed this isolation phase but now there is some sort of passion which is popping up inside you and this passion is is related to your romantic life and you have started feeling like it's time for me to step out of this isolation phase it's time for me to break away from this isolation phase and start experiences uh, experiencing companionship togetherness all over again so there is a passion calling okay uh you, you guys will start feeling or some of you are already feeling like yes i want someone in my life now i don't want to remain 
single forever or I don't want to remain alone. And not that you have become tired of remaining alone. It is just that it's it's natural, right, Leo? It's quite natural that we 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 feel that I there should be someone in my life, or I I will enjoy my life. Uh, I want to enjoy my life along with someone. I want to grow old with someone. It's quite natural, and it's a human instinct. So there is nothing wrong uh, if if everyone feels something like this, especially after we have isolated ourselves for a real long time. Okay, people crave for companionship and it's a natural human instinct. So I see you in next couple of months, you will become more and more passionate. In next couple of months, you will find yourself becoming sexually attracted towards someone or in, in uh, I mean, it, it take how it resonates. Someone will also become interested in you and there is going to be a strong sexual attraction towards this person. So uh, six of cups clarified by the queen of swords you you are seeking passion but it's not just confined to passion you are also looking out for love okay so maybe maybe what i see is like once you get into this connection with someone i believe someone is coming towards you with an offer look at this 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 person is offering this cup to this to this child right so some sort of offer is coming your way, okay, and you will get into that connection, I believe, but after some time, you'll start thinking that is this connection all about sex? I, I'm seeking, I'm seeking love, I'm seeking companionship, I'm seeking a lot of passion, but but I want I want an equilibrium, okay? I don't want just sex and just passion. I also want love and care and everything, okay? So I believe that... Uh, after some time, you may hold yourself back or you may start thinking like, what is this connection all about, okay? And and I believe you're going to be very open and upfront. If you start feeling like this, you're going to be very open and upfront regarding this uh, to... You're going to be very open and upfront regarding this to your person. Like, this, these are my expectations. I mean, I'm actually really enjoying the situation really enjoying the passionate moments with you but for me it's not just all about passion okay i want an equilibrium in the relationship i'm looking out for a balanced love i'm looking out for care because i'm the one who is giving everything and i don't want to i don't want to experience unrequited love okay i have experienced that in the past and i don't want to go through that experience all over again and if you cannot offer that then let me shut the doors for you okay you you're gonna be very upfront Leo, and very clear cut to this person okay but i believe with the with the four of wands clarified by king of uh, pentacles this person is gonna give you the much needed comfort in this situation okay they will tell you and not only they will tell you but they will also show you by their actions that they are really into you just that they will say that the moment I saw you, I felt like an, I can have a family with you and I was so heavily sexually attracted and the fantasy was too much for me to handle. I mean, the kind of vision I had for both of us was 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 overwhelming in a very nice way. Okay, that I, I, it was, it became all about sex and passion in the initial days. And if you felt, uh, if you, if you thought that it was an unrequited love situation, then I'm very sorry. This person is going to be very nice, very wise and very nice. And they will come give you the much needed comfort and uh, how they will give you that comfort. It's not going to be only through words okay they will also going to show you through actions this person is going to be loyal okay they are going to be loyal okay i like this king of pentacles this king of pentacles is very wise someone who who is in touch with their emotions and who is grounded okay this person has worked hard a lot in their life and uh, and at the same time they value everything uh, in their life this king of pentacles is an investor okay they they invest in money they invest in uh, relationships they invest in uh, situationships okay and they invest from long-term perspective so they know the value of everything 
and they are not like headed and quitted kind of a person okay at the same time uh, the shadow side of this person is that of they they are a bit arrogant about whatever they think and whatever they feel but at the end of the day they will make sure that they will make sure that they are they are acting right okay so i i always like this king of pentacles energy so four of wands clarified by the king of pentacles lot of stability coming your way even the four of wands can you see these wands grounded i mean uh can you see these wands standing tall right so it's like they they have been fixed in the ground and they are not going to move unless a very strong force comes and uh breaks them down right so lot of stability is coming your way lot of uh I mean you know what Leo whatever you're looking out for in a love and a relationship that is what exactly you're going to uh, you're going to get uh, love care stability loyalty integrity okay longevity whatever you want is coming your way all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below the link for the extended is, is in description box and comment section okay bye bye then and yeah by the way in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right bye bye then